name is Kim. I'm a licensed veterinary technician. I've been with Kim Scientific for approximately three years. I'm excited to talk to you today about the Somnoflow Low Flow Electronic Vaporizer. During today's presentation, we will discuss how the Somnoflow compares to a traditional vaporizer, the ease of use and setup, and how adding the Somnoflow to your laboratory can limit your exposure and save you time and money. Most of you are likely familiar with a traditional high flow vaporizer. These systems have their purpose and can be useful when anesthetizing larger animals such as dogs and cats. These traditional vaporizers often have a high flow rate requirement of 500 ml per minute. Rodents require a much lower flow rate, 26 ml per minute based on a 30 gram average body weight. Most of this extra air and isofluorine leaks into the environment, exposing the surgeon and all those around to waste anesthetic gas. These traditional vaporizers also require annual calibration because of the compressurized chamber, the gas gets wear out over time, requiring annual service and calibration to ensure that they deliver accurate anesthesia to your rodents. The Somnoflow, however, is different. It's a digital low flow electronic vaporizer. It's small and compact, weighing less than six pounds. The system can be placed anywhere in your laboratory. Not only is the Somnoflow compact and lightweight, it also requires no compressed gas source, utilizing room air or compressed gas should your experiment require it. With airflow rates as low as 50 ml per minute, your exposure is significantly decreased. Your use of isofluorine is also decreased. There's no annual service calibration requirement ensuring accurate anesthesia delivery and precision up to 0.1%. The Somnoflow Low Flow Electronic Vaporizer is safer for you and your valuable animal research models. The label tubing makes setup a breeze. Simply attach the inspiratory tubing to your Somnoflow controller to your induction chamber and nose cone as illustrated in the diagram on your screen. This short video shows you how the system would look on your laboratory bench top. If you elect to use a compressed gas source, this can be easily done by selecting compressed gas on your Somnoflow's touchscreen menu. It's important to note that the PSI entering the Somnoflow cannot exceed 15. The Somnoflow allows for multiple setup configurations. Our three-way accessory connector allows you to add a third station for higher volume laboratory needs. The Somnoflow can be easily utilized with ventilation for more advanced surgical procedures. This illustration on your screen shows how quickly a ventilator can be attached for use. Along with allowing for three stations and mechanical ventilation, the Somnoflow is easily adapted to fit a variety of stereotactic stands requiring a small increase in airflow to account for the stereotactic fit. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you a short video that shows how easily the Somnoflow is set up and how it can be used in your laboratory. The Somnoflow can deliver anesthesia without the need for compressed gas. If you're using ambient air from the system's internal pump, leave the air inlet open. If you wish to use a compressed gas source, use the compressed gas assembly to connect a pressure regulated gas source to the Somnoflow's compressed gas port. The inlet pressure should not exceed 15 PSI. Connect the included bottle top adapter to a bottle of anesthetic. Connect the delivery tubing to the bottle top adapter and place the anesthetic bottle into the holder. Turn on the Somnoflow to begin the automatic priming sequence. The system will draw anesthetic directly from the bottle and prepare the system for delivery. Once priming is complete, touch Menu to enter the preset settings. There are three presets available to save your preferred settings. Low flow is best used for anesthetic maintenance, high flow is best used for induction, and purge is best used to reduce excess anesthetic in the induction chamber. The Somnoflow will save all of your settings, but you can return to this menu at any time to adjust the preset options. Even though you have entered flow rates and anesthetic concentrations for each phase, you can still adjust these parameters during anesthesia delivery from the run screen. Now that your tubing is set up and settings are saved, you're ready to begin anesthetizing an animal. 
Adjust the clips to direct airflow to the induction chamber. Place the animal in the induction chamber and touch high flow. The somnoflow will begin delivery at the settings you've selected in your high flow presets. Use the dials to make adjustments to the flow rate or anesthetic concentration as needed. When the animal is fully anesthetized, touch high flow again to stop delivery. If desired, purge the chamber using the purge feature. Remove the animal from the chamber and position on the nose cone. Be sure to adjust the clips to direct the airflow to the nose cone. Touch low flow to resume anesthetic delivery. When you're finished with the procedure, touch low flow again to stop delivery and recover the animal. I appreciate your time. Hopefully this presentation has given you a bit to think about. The cost savings over time, coupled with the decrease in waste gas exposure, makes choosing the somno flow, low flow, digital vaporizer, an easy decision for your laboratory. I will be available to take any questions that you may have after viewing today's presentation. Thank you so much for your time.